How goes it, everybody? My name is Howitzer, and welcome back to SnowRunner. Of course, today I got another mod to show you. The OBS Crew 3500. Diesel Attic 66 brings us this one. And it seems like it's going to be a nice little play on an old 90s GM truck. So let's go see what we can do to this thing. All right, for engines, we have a 5.9 liter D series. 5.9 liter. Oh, that's right. He uh, said it's a diesel truck. So I wonder if he's talking like a like a Cummins. Huh. We have a 6.4 stroker and then a 6.4 twin turbo stroker. Let's go with that. Gearbox. Looks like we have the A1000 five speed that comes with it. Eight speed heavy tow. That's experimental. A1000 six speed and four speed racing. He says use at your own risk. Oh boy. Let's just do the six speed for now. Give that a shot. Suspension, we have stock, trail suspension, and then tow suspension. I guess we'll do trail suspension. Tires, well, just a little selection of tires. All right, let's go with these 46 inch mud terrains. And they're even an ice tire too. Winch, we got stock offline winch, extended range offline, max range and power offline, and extra power offline. Let's do the max range and power. Snorkel. Okay, got the tall mushroom, tall front facing, and then the custom snorkel. I'll do the tall front facing. Sure. Frame add-ons. You got the gooseneck hitch. Got the dually bed. I didn't even see a, a dually tire option. It does fit the tires really nice though, doesn't it? You got the custom flatbed, which comes with some repair parts and some wheels and some fuel. That's pretty cool. You got another flatbed you can choose. That one looks really good too. Got the tow hitch. Why is it showing me the front of the truck though? You know what, fuck it, let's put the dually bed on. Screw it. Kinda looks more like a 3500 now, even though it's just a single wheel. All right, for visuals, we have the rear bumper. Oh, we have the chrome bumper. Police pursuit bumper. Huh. A stock bumper. Heavy duty rear bumper, custom rear bumper, and then just the stock bumper. Let's do the head. Let's do the custom rear. I can't really get in close to see it, but rooftop got some small parking lights, round parking lights, beacons and fog lights, and then just regular roof fog lights. You know, I'll just do the the small parking lights. Make it a little more subtle. We got some stripes here. Oh, you can. Oh, you can do that old classic GM truck stripe down the middle of the of the truck there. I see. Okay, that's pretty fucking cool. I'll leave that alone for now. Hoods, you got the stock hood and the cowl hood. We'll do the cowl hood. Always makes it look better. Interior, you can do a column shift, the GPS. I can't move the camera. I can't do nothing. You can do manual transmission or a tablet for tunes. <laughs> we'll do the manual transmission. I'll we'll have to take a look at that later, I guess. All right, for the body, you can take the body moldings off if you want. Uh, I got cab lights. I don't really, oh, it must just be a different style cab light. Got door badges you can put on it. Again, I can't really get a good angle on some of this stuff. You can get the dually bed uh, custom logo there, the four x four on the on the fender there. You can put the old roof visor on, get the skull window in the back. Or a custom one. Get the flame dude. <laughs> or the, the Punisher skull. You know, I'll actually take the body moldings off. Because it only seems like it's from the body and the bed doesn't have it. We'll just take those off. All right, front bumper. Looks like we got the Aussie bumper. Aussie bumper weighted. Toe loops. Heavy duty pipe. Axle protecting, huh? Chrome fang. Just a, a stock looking bumper. Heavy duty front bumper, heavy duty front bumper weighted, stock front bumper, and the stock front bumper weighted. Interesting. Let's just do the heavy duty pipe for now. I bet I'll probably change it if we end up pulling a trailer or something with it. Miscellaneous, you can do the old side steps on the side of the truck there. Or you can do a little angled visor. I'll leave that alone. Toolboxes, we got a little spare fuel tank, which comes with 10,000 Repair parts and 
10,000 fuel as well. We can do a custom toolbox. Or another one, too. I'll put the toolbox in there, sure. Never know when you're going to need something. Exhaust. You got the bull hauler, huh? Got the dozer stacks, the dual miter, even though it kind of interferes with the, uh, the toolbox. Got the ground exit, which comes with it. Got the hood stack. You just got the single stack in the back. Let's do the dozer ones. Sure. Colors. All right. Looks like just some uh, very, very plain colors. Let's do like this grayish. I'll, I'll just keep it easy. And of course, you got bobbleheads, other accessories, hood ornaments, all that. Let's go see how this thing does. I'm very curious now. Let's go see how it does. I tell you, it, it does look really good, though. Let's see the inside here. Oh. Oh, oh you got to be kidding me. Wow. This looks exactly like a fucking early 90s GM truck. I mean, the fucking radio, the equalizer down there with the tape player in it. The gauges, everything. Holy shit, somebody put a lot of detail into this. I mean, the switches for the door, everything. Holy fuck. That looks really, really good. That's well, definitely a diesel. Diff lock is on all the time. That's nice to see. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I think I... Oh. <laughs> I think this thing's going to be a little fast. All right. It'll pull the, the goosenecks. That's nice to know. It'll pull some of your normal trailers, your maintenance trailer, all that. But we'll do that later. Let's go see how it does on its own first. Holy mackerel, is this thing smoky. I can't even see nothing. Whoa, this thing is flexy. Holy shit. Oh, it's pretty fast, too. Ooh, turn. Ooh. All right, we'll take her down in the mud pit here. Put her in full drive right away. Oh, fucking no problem. Oh, my God. Oh, this thing is pretty quick with this transmission. We'll go down in a swampy town. We're holding six gear. Well, now we finally downshifted. You know, in all reality, this thing isn't that high off the ground. At least the axles aren't. The body's pretty high off the ground, but the axles are not. Let's put it in high once. Keep this thing from upshifting and downshifting so much. I mean, this thing's just eating it up. No fuck. Oh my god! <laughs> what did I even hit? Oh. Have I ever rolled over a truck in this? Like that before? <laughs> I don't think I have. That seems very easy to flip over. That's pretty cool. Maybe I just fed her a little too many onions there. Here comes the deep spot. Oh, yeah. A little too much wheel speed. Not a care in the fucking world, though. Just fucking chugging its way through this. No fucking issue at all. I think we have a winner here. God, this thing is pretty quick. Comes the river. No fucking problem. <laughs> All right. God, this thing's pretty loud. Let's go do some other shit. Yeah. All right. Let's take it up over on the rocks once. Let's see how it does this. Tell you what, that suspension is really, really flexy. I think it's going to do pretty good.
Oh my god. Like fucking nothing. Oh, it locked up that like nothing too. Oh, there we go. Holy fuck, this thing's awesome. Oh! <laughs> you know, I was going to make a comment about how the longer wheelbases are a little more stable. <laughs> Apparently not the case. But that's a pretty, pretty good drop, so. Alright, we'll take it up over this way. Let me turn this big bastard around. All right. Let's see if it'll do this part. I know it, it was going to walk it, but oh my god. Right fucking up the rock. Holy shit. This thing is amazing. Oh my god. This thing's fucking cool. This thing is quite fucking nuts. All right, let's go try out that other transmission. I want to see how wild that thing is. All right, this is supposedly the race transmission. I don't know how wild this is really going to be. <gasps> okay, yeah. It's a little wild. Um... Oh my god, this thing is fast. Holy shit. Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> well, I ruined the front of the truck, but that's okay. Oh, my God. This... Oh my god, this thing gets really fast with this transmission. He ain't kidding when he says use at your own risk, because... Holy balls. Yeah, Christ. With this transmission and he got it in high. Holy fuck, this thing's an animal. It is not easy to... To drive. And with the exhaust the way that I got it, it's so hard to fucking see. I'm going to try full throttle. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Not on this road. Oh, boy. God damn. This is one of the more wild ones I've had lately. Holy shit. Oh, if I can get the truck straight. Oh. God, it's fuck it's so out of control. <laughs> oh. Alright. Let's uh let's go pull a trailer now. Alright. I put the eight speed heavy tow transmission on, which is experimental, so we'll try that out. And I got the tow suspension on. Grab myself a little flatbed here. Let's put the ramps down. Let's go grab ourselves a truck. We'll grab the old A&K, like normal. All right. We'll pack the truck, put the ramps up. Let's go see. Oh my, I forgot to uh, put the a heavy bumper on. Let me go do that quick. All right, I got the heavy bumper on. Put it in full drive right away, just to make sure. I changed the exhaust too, so that it I can actually see where the hell I'm going. We're going to give this thing a shot here. I believe this thing's going to do quite well. It makes more power than what you would ever fucking need, first of all. But the tires seem to be very, very good. And it just seems to be an all-around decent truck. It's nice and long. It seems to be pretty stable. Hopefully I don't lose the the truck on the trailer too many times just like I am now. God damn it. <laughs> Alright. I got the truck back on the trailer. And I got the truck in a very weird spot. I'm just at the start of the hill. Let's see. Oh yeah. Not even an issue. 
I thought maybe it would give me a little trouble there. Not even fucking close. Tires are really, really good. I really like these tires a lot. It seems like the... It almost kind of seems like the front end is still a little light. And maybe the suspension is just a little too flexy, even for a towing suspension. That's what it kind of seems like. And I took it easy up that. I was in low going up that hill. I was going pretty slow. I think I would have rolled the truck over there. I was going any faster. Take it up through the little whoops here. Yep. Oh, God. Sometimes that trailer can really, really lean. Yep, there it goes. All right, got the truck back on the trailer. Yeah, I think... The suspension on the truck is a little too flexy when I'm pulling the trailer because it really, really tips that trailer. I think part of it has to do with the trailer itself. But I think some of it has to do with the truck, too. Yeah, goodness, this is starting to become a chore. Putting that truck on that trailer so many goddamn times, I'm going to be a pro. No, the next time it comes off, I'm just going to fucking leave it. It's kind of a pain in the ass. I mean, so far, I mean, the truck is doing really well. I should have went with a log trailer and just loaded some logs on it, because that's what I was going to do. But I usually do the, the truck tow test, so... I wanted to see how it did it compared to the, some of the other vehicles I've done. I mean, the truck is... It's doing it really well. Don't get me wrong. It's not the truck's fault. I think part of it has to do with the trailer, too. I think the trailer sways a little, a little too much side to side. Like, right here, I might end up losing the truck. Yep, and I'm going to lose the truck. And I'm just going to keep going. Fuck it. I'm done. <laughs> I've lost it too many times. All right, let's send it up the little hill. Let's see if it'll at least do that. I'm pretty sure it will. The tires are really, really good. And I mean, no fucking problem. No issue at all. All right. We'll send her on down the mountain. Yeah. You know, the durability of this truck is really high, too. Because, damn, this thing does not take a lot of damage. Oh! Almost rolled the truck over. Woo. This thing is pretty nice, though. This would be an excellent scout. This would be one of the better scouts. Probably in the whole mod browser itself. But if you need to haul cargo, it will haul cargo, too. There's 8th gear. Just cruising along. And these tires aren't... Oh, 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 why did I do that? Oh, oh! Oh, oh put me down! Oh, that was so fucking cool! Oh! Oh my god, that was so fucking great. God, this game sometimes just fucking makes me giggle. Oh. Here comes the puddle. Not a care in the world. Yeah. I would say this thing did really well. I've seen all I need to see. Well, that was the OBS Crew 3500. I gotta say, this truck is actually really, really nice. This thing is an amazing off-roader. 
absolutely amazing. If you use a better trailer, I guarantee you this thing would do a whole lot better. Don't let my representation sway what you would do. I just wanted to see how well it would pull a trailer with some weight on it. And the flatbed with a truck is a nice and easy way to do it. But damn, this thing is really, really good. And the, the attention to detail with this one is so good. It's so good. Even though it does have a solid front end, which these trucks never came with, but still, a very, very good rig. I like it. Good job with this one. You should be proud of this one. This is a, this is a good one. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button for me as well. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.